touch typing, each key on the bottom row is pressed by a specific finger on either your left hand or your right hand. On your left hand, the little finger presses the Z. The ring finger presses the X. Your second finger presses the C. And the index finger presses both the V key and the B key. This next lesson will only focus on the letters. So right now, you only need to know that your index finger is responsible for pressing two keys, the N and the M. We'll cover punctuation in a future lesson. I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again because it is such an important touch typing rule. Always keep your fingers on the correct home row keys when not in use. Let's do a position check before beginning the next set of bottom row exercises. Make sure your head is erect, not tilted downward, upward, backward, or forward. Your shoulders should be relaxed, elbows close to the body, wrists flat, fingers curved naturally. Your feet should be uncrossed and flat against the floor or footrest. Your eyes must not be looking down at your keyboard. In this exercise, you'll learn the F to B finger movement. This movement is completed using the index finger on your left hand. Simply move the index finger down and slightly to the right until it's over the B key. Press the key and then return your index finger to its home row position on the letter F. In this exercise, you'll learn the F to B finger movement. This movement is completed using the index finger on your left hand. Simply move the index finger down and further to the right until it's over the B key. Press the key and then return your index finger to its home row position on the letter F. In this exercise, you'll learn the D to C finger movement. This movement is completed using the second finger on your left hand. Simply move the second finger down until it's over the C key. Press the key and then return your second finger to its home row position on the letter D. Bye. Uh -huh. 